Hey, welcome to Coco Lace and Giggles, where beauty is made simple. My name is Ayana. Go ahead and grab yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and let's see what I have to talk about today. Hello there, Coco Beauties. How are you today? I hope that you are having a fabulous day and everything is right with the world. Um, today, I would like to talk to you about curator box and that is the is this the fall box or the winter box let's see i believe this is the fall box i can never remember i need to get it together fall box and I am so excited because we are going to hop into this and we're going to, um, if you, oh, if you want to see the magazine or some of the things that we are going to discuss today, it will be right at this QR code. Um, so we're going to kind of go through some of the things that I received and I'm already wearing some of them which is the bracelet um the double layer the wrap bracelet I love these bracelets um it's like I received so many braces with these um so many boxes with these type of links and stuff like that but this is the bracelet so cute anywho so hopping right in the bracelet is by Lauren Stewart. And you had, I think you had the choice of getting the bracelet or the ring. Yeah, ring schmings. I'm not really that big into rings like that. So, you know me, I love a good bracelet and necklace. Love them. You can layer them. As you can see, I'm wearing my beads on this side and links on this side. Um, and then I like I like cute little toggles. But yeah, so <clears throat> this is a little um, bag that it came in with a little drawstring to keep it nice and safe. Um, the next thing was, oh, cute little purse. Absolutely gorge. Cute purse, really, really, really cute purse, and um, I haven't started carrying it yet. Um, this is the Aota. The bag is by Aota. I think I'm pronouncing that right, A L T A, and it is the. It's a cute. What they call it, the Ilana bucket bag. I'm liking that. So of course you can carry it like this. And it's small. I don't want you to think it's a really big bag. Um, it's about the size of this book. And then of course it's a cute little crossbody. Um, this is of course vegan uh, leather. Really cute. Perfect, goes with everything. You can throw things in it. Um, a little magnetic clasp. Um, some people like zippers, so there is a zipper piece, a uh, little space in the middle. You can do a lot with that. That's a cute, like, get up and go bag. I'm running out to go get some things done. The next thing we have is, I don't know why they put this in here, but they gave me this, so I'm not sure why I received this, but another um, ombre print scarf, which is cool. Um, I am gonna go ahead and give this one away because we don't. I don't need the hoard. That's not a good look. And the next thing is uh, this lovely, lovely poncho. It's a fall poncho, real cute. You can belt it up with a nice wide belt, some jeans, bomb hat and hit it with the crossbody bag, bracelet. We in there, right? As they say, in there, in there like somewhere. This is really cute. I will have a picture over here of myself in it, just to kind of style myself in it so you can see what it looks like. But let's go ahead and 
open up the bag so you can see what it's about. Okay, so there is this really cute um, little poncho that I wanna show you. And I will have pictures, you know, that pops up while we're talking about this. But um, really cute, nice and warm and cozy. Um, for those who are really into ponchos, little fringe at the bottom. This is cute. Somebody who's not trying to wear a big coat everywhere, but you know, we keep them warm. Turtleneck, I'm, I'm, I'm a fool for a turtleneck. Turtleneck is doing chocolate. We gonna do shades of brown, honey, or a good olive. A little good olive belt. Cinching out waist, some cute boots, jeans, leggings, whatever, riding pants, whatever you want to do. That will look really good with that. Um, the next thing that is in here is the um, Keller, Geller, Laura Geller. So, ooh, not really a fan of Laura. Um, but some people really like her. I haven't found anything that works for me with Laura. Um, but this is her rose and taupe. I don't, I don't know what I can do with rose and taupe. Um, it was either rose and taupe or beige and brown. And I do not want any brown. So um, she does have some cute little shimmery colors. And um, I'm gonna swatch one. This says ginger. Oh, it's really soft. Very shimmery. But I don't think it's gonna, you know, like that's, it says ginger. This doesn't look like ginger to me. I mean, it's pretty lofty. Um, Here's the real test. This is chamomile. Now it's swatching the same color that's in the in the uh, box, so I'll show you all so you can see. Those are the colors, right? So y'all see what color chamomile is. So is this gonna give me ash? Oh no, it's coming up the color it's supposed to be. So I don't know, this may work. So this is what her. This is the colors, right? And this is the chamomile that swatch. Now, I have tried her lipsticks in the past. As a matter of fact, I think it may have been my first or second video when I first started doing videos. And oh, everyone in the comments was like, you need to throw that out because that's not a good look. So maybe her eyeshadows are better, which is cool. Okay. So here's a brush clean brush and let's see what this last color is giving. Access out the brush. Let's see what the intensity of this is. If it's really let me show you the color. So that's the color. I thought it would show up a little bit darker than that, but it's, hmm, okay. Definitely giving neutral vibes. Is it chalky? Are we, are we, are we doing chalky life? Hmm, tab it. Let's move in down. Okay, I mean, still, I wasn't expecting it to look that great. So, um, that's cool. Let's, um, let's do a color on my inner eye. They say always use your ring finger. Blend that out a little bit. Let's 
Okay, so this is giving very like, I only did two shades, but for most people, I'll fall into that group. We're not doing like 20 different shades to go to work, right? Um, I was able to do it with my fingers, really easy. A lot of people don't like to get stuff on their hands. I get it. I don't see where this would be a problem with a brush either, um, but I did like that the colors actually showed up. So what you see in the palette is what you would get on your skin. And especially, you know, Cocoa Beauties. We like, we not trying to look ashy. And that's not giving ash. I like the way it gives like just a little enough, just a little pop of color, not a whole lot. And I'm wearing, and it matches my lip. Mm, I like that. So, um, I stand corrected, Laura. This is, okay. Okay, at first I was kind of looking at Rachel like, for real Rachel, that's what we doing. Laura, Laura don't, don't always work for everybody, but. This one is actually okay. I'm not, you know, I'm not bad. I'm okay with it coming in the box. Um, the next thing we have is the, let me get my glasses. Cora Organics. And this is a turmeric brightening exfoliating mask. Uh, two in one. Polish, brighten, and detox. We don't need a little detox in their life. So, you know, those self-care days, some people do self-care Sundays, some people do self-care weekends. Um, all right. So I do not know anyone that has used this particular product, but I am familiar with, I am familiar with the Coral Organic. So um, this should be pretty good. Um, turmeric. When I think of turmeric, I think of that super orange. It does have a seal on it. Yeah, oh, the colors. So I'm. I don't know if that color will stain your nails. It shouldn't, but turmeric stains a lot. So um, if you're trying this, or you know, you're like. Hey, Hey, I want to see what this is about. Keep in mind, turmeric can stain the nails, which is a pain, um, even though it's great for all those other things that you use it for. Okay, and this is 100 milliliters, 3.38 ounces. And again, this is the Cora Organics skin brightening mask back out okay so this is the little mini fragrance by victor and wolf and it is good fortune and they said it's a light floral scent but let's see what we working with okay yo that i don't even like floral like that but this smells so good Mm, okay, and you know what? This might work on like anybody. So I'm going to let my mom try this and see how she likes it. Cause she is like perfume queen. I got her here with me this weekend, y'all. So excited. I absolutely love when my mom is in town. So um, right now she's in there helping me cook. She was like, we gonna get this out the way today. So she, I started, you know, um, prepping for the greens. She knocked the greens out today. She about to wrap up the, the um, dressing. Oh, I love her dressing. She like the best dressing. Um, and then I get to finish up the rest of the stuff. So she getting all the hard stuff out the way. Morgan says she want to do a butterscotch pie. Y'all. Butterscotch pie. I don't even know what that tastes like. I'm a little nervous. But we gonna see. Everything that she has tried up until this point every year for like the last three or four years, that's all been really good. So we gonna see. I'm, you know, butterscotch is, 
this. That's a strong taste, guys. Everybody, yeah, it's not like vanilla or chocolate. But we're gonna try it out and see. And I think I'm gonna make a sweet potato pie, but I don't know. Anywho, so that is everything. Um, but like I said, if y'all get a chance to try this out, try it out. Um, I think you will really like it if you're looking for a nice, good scent. So when I say floral, it's not like, oh my God, oh, that's strong. What is that? It's like a warm floral scent. And so I like warm scents. Um, I don't like, there's some that are like, can be real strong and like smack, smack you in your face. Mm -mm. This is real like warm and it gives you like feminine but not overly powerful. It's one of those, like, if someone walked by, you'd be like, who is that? Um, um, I don't smell vanilla, but I smell almost kind of like a, uh, a slight woodsy smell. Oh, what's the name of that? No, no, not Wizzy, but kind of amber a little bit. Just a hint of amber. Um, not really sandalwood, but definitely a little hint of amber and floral, warm floral. For those who like perfume. Okay. Um, all right. So that was all I have for this box. Um, ponchos. You know, clearly Rachel's all really like ponchos. And maybe they're really in style. I am not a huge fan of ponchos. I love cardigans and wraps. Something that I can wrap across. Right? I don't like a lot of things I have to pull over my head other than my sweaters. It is what it is. But I do like a good cardigan, a nice button-up cardigan, or just open, you know, whatever. Um, but this is cute. Definitely, I'm gonna have to buy a wide belt or do like a OB, a OB belt. A nice brown leather OB belt would be great with this um, poncho. And I'm gonna wear the bracelet. The purse, well, it's cute too, but you know. All right, so, um, one to seven. This box, I'll give it about a, maybe like a four and a half, because I do halves. So like a four and a half, like not quite a seven. Um, I'll probably, no, no, it's a five, because I really love the bracelet. Can't get enough of the perfume and um, the pullover. And a cute little black purse. Everyone needs a cute little, like, quick black purse. So, yeah, that's cool. And y'all who don't like good eyeshadow. All right, so listen, y'all. It's been real. Um, I'm going to catch up with y'all later. You're probably going to see this whole look again. Different videos, but it's okay. Because I need to crank these out and get them out to y'all. Um, you have a great day. <clears throat> whatever time of day it is, night. And I will catch you all a little later. Bye.